okay, let's work on finding the exact value of cosine of 75 degrees. So this is only one way to do this, but being that our section, uh, this 9.2 section, is all about sum and difference identities for sine, cosine, and tangent, um, I went ahead and I pulled up the uh, sum identity for uh, cosine. Now, um, in thinking about this, like I said, not the only way to do it, but let's go ahead and list out some of these nice angles that show up a whole lot, right? Um, hopefully we have these memorized, but 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees show up a whole lot. Hopefully we have these values when we substitute them into sine, cosine, and tangent kind of memorized, or we have a table handy to evaluate these. All right, I list these out because we want to get back to angles that we're comfortable with, nice angles. So in our case, we're looking at the cosine of 75 degrees. If we can pick out a pair that either we subtract or we add to come up with 75 degrees, that's probably going to be the easiest for us. So in this case, I think if we just go ahead and use 30 degrees and 45 degrees, if you add these together, we're going to get, or they're going to add up to 75. So in our case, I'm going to go ahead and write this as cosine of 75 is equivalent to cosine of 45 degrees plus 30 degrees. So I've replaced what's inside of our cosine function with something equivalent. All right, now we can jump into using the sum formula that I've listed out down below. As long as we remember that 45 is gonna be our alpha and basically get filled in in each of these spots over on the right-hand side of this formula. And then 30 degrees is going to be our beta, so it's going to get filled in for each one of these beta symbols over on the right-hand side. So our formula now is going to look like the cosine of 45 degrees plus 30 degrees can be rewritten as cosine of 45 degrees times the cosine of our beta was 30 degrees minus the sine of 45 degrees times the sine of 30 degrees. So really just went ahead, kind of matched things up, put them in the right places in our formula. All right, we chose 30 degrees and 45 degrees because we can evaluate these. So the cosine of 45 degrees turns out being square root of 2 over 2. Cosine of 30 degrees turns out being square root of 3 over 2. Bring along our subtraction in between, sine of 45, square root of 2 over 2. And then sine of 30 degrees is going to be 1 half. All right, the only other simplifying down we could do is like we have two fractions multiplied together. Let's go ahead and multiply their numerators and multiply their denominators. And the same thing can be done over here. Square root of 2 times 1 is square root of 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And then just a little bit more efficient, nicer looking solution is if we went ahead and combine these together into a single fraction, instead of two separate fractions being subtracted, they already have a common denominator. So we'll bring that along. And then we can write our numerator as square root of 6 minus the square root of 2. And that's the best solution we can get to on this one. So whenever you're presented with these types of problems where it's maybe an angle you're not comfortable with, list out the ones you are comfortable with. And then see if you can piece these together either by adding or subtracting to end up with the one you're looking for. From there, it's mostly just filling into a formula and evaluating. So I hope this helps out. Good luck.